Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going over a really interesting finding and may it's 100% glitch. Bungie did not intend for this, but you know what? Let's just roll with it. So right now we are in Iron Banner Tribute where you bank moats and collect them. It's sort of like supremacy, but you need to bank the moats. And it's almost honestly a slog fest because your kills do absolutely nothing. So honestly, you don't even need guns. You just need to collect moats. So I presume everyone in the Destiny 2 community has seen this image before where it's like just a shit ton of crests. Like I'm talking absolute shit ton of crests. And you're just like, oh shit, it'd be really nice if I could collect them all. Like you could, if you could hold 20 crests. However, in tribute, you can only hold seven crests max. Therefore, how the heck are you supposed to collect these all? I'll just let the clip roll and let's see if you notice what happens. Pretty good clip, eh? Uh, I was really surprised at it. I was like, wait, what just happened? Did I just collect orbs through the wall? Crazy. And that is due to powerful attraction. Uh, the more powerful attraction mods you have, the bigger the effect radius is, and this will allow you to collect orbs without even walking over it. In this video, I'm just gonna go over a little bit more build-wise, how you can build into this. Obviously, hunters are really good for this because they have the class ability like, all the time. But you could either go Night Stalker with Invis, so they collect all the moats, go Invis, run back to the bank um, using Frosties. But there is another better way to use this in Crucible. Uh, so Frosties basically give you your dodge back faster when you're running. But the cool thing about Tribute is that when your enemies or your, when your allies die, they will drop Crests. And the cool thing about your allies dying is that it could activate Aeon Swift. Basically, you gain class ability energy when your allies die and you get a little bit of damage resist. This will basically give you your dodge back immediately. So you, if your ally dies right in front of you, you dodge, collect all the crests in the area, and then run back and be a rat. Um, for maximum rat gameplay, I was using the Mida combo just because you could move really fast and then you have a sword also for mobility. Uh, your other mods don't really matter too, too much. Uh, all you need is powerful attractions, Aeon Swift, the Mida bunch, and you could either go Invis or if you want to, if you're really confident in your movement, you could go uh, Arc Strider, uh, putting on Spark of uh, Recharge, Focus. And then you could add in spark of haste as well so then when you dodge or when you're as you're sprinting you have increased mobility like let's say if you don't have max mobility and so on hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did leave a like uh subscribe if you like <laughs> i don't know if i'm back but if i am go for it peace